So as you guys know, we are massive fans of Power World on the channel. Now I'm not going to lie, after the recent Nintendo fiasco, I didn't think Power World would make a recovery. But the latest in regards to that lawsuit, after it took a crazy turn, you guys who don't know about this, won't believe it. But either or guys, last night Power World Pocket Pair tweeted out something crazy. A major update is coming to the game. A massive new island. Six times bigger than the latest one they added. Guys, today we get into it all. How's it going people? My name is DPJ. Now if you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Power World, be sure to subscribe. So I ain't played Power World in probably about... A month and a half now two months i mean i cleared out the latest content with the uh secure gmail i believe that's how it's pronounced the new island done everything there was to do caught all the best powers at least that and the other and then was waiting patiently to see what happened between nintendo and pocket pair in regards to their lawsuit that was going down now after doing a little bit of research because i haven't heard anything from pocket pair themselves in quite a while but searching Google for the latest and greatest news in regards to this lawsuit brings up a Forbes article, which when I read this, guys, I couldn't believe it. So it states, and we'll quickly run through this. Several weeks ago, it was announced that after months of seemingly building a case, Nintendo was suing Pocket Pair, makers of Power World, for some sort of unknown patent infringement. Now we have more details on what exactly is going on there. Pocket Pair has just announced that Nintendo is demanding 10 million yen plus late payment damages from them. Forbes then states we would not expect anyone to know this math offhand, but 10 million yen is about 66,000 US dollars. No, that is not missing any zeros. And yes, this is Power World, a game that sold 25 million units across PC and Xbox as of June. In other words, that's pocket change depending on what the late payment damages may be. Now, they're going to a little bit of detail in regards to the patents uh, Nintendo are claiming pocket pair stole, I guess. Uh, they say here the first patent is about aiming and firing some sort of item toward a character in a field. It literally specifies that, triggering a combat state. I'm guessing this means the Pokeball or the pocket pair ball or the Power World ball, I don't know. The second patent is something about being able to capture creatures in the wild rather than just a battle setting i mean i don't know how they're going to get away with that the third pattern is about riding creatures in an open world and transitioning between those creatures again i'm not sure how they're going to get away with this but yes i'll link the forbes article in the video description if you guys do want to read through it all i mean i'm pretty sure we can quite clearly say now if this is all that nintendo have of our pocket pair in regards to this lawsuit 66k us dollars like forbes say is absolute pocket change to what they've made of this game and well with that massive new update coming even if it's paid which i think it may indeed will be pocket pair are about to make even more money off this game but if all guys anything drops in regards to this lawsuit and the outcome to it if it goes any further than what we've mentioned today i'll let you guys know via a video in the future but in regards to that update so pocket pair power World themselves tweeted this out last night major update coming in december survive on the largest harshest and most mysterious new island in power world the size of the new island is about six times more than the sakura jima uh, island which were added quite a few months back now power world is currently 25 percent off a perfect time to prepare for the upcoming update don't miss it and they share a couple of well, just share four images here um, now in regards to further details on what exactly is coming besides a new island which is supposedly going to be massive which i cannot wait for we haven't got a clue about anything else. I've not teased nothing. I am in a, well, shall I say, content creator discord in regards to getting early access to such early information and nothing has been shared there as of yet. But if anything does get shared, obviously I have a good right here on my channel. But if they are dropping guys, a massive new update, six times bigger than the previous in regards to the island scale itself, which is pretty big people. I would think with certainty, 
that we're going to get many, many new pals too. I mean, with the last update with that island, which was pretty small, they added a ton of new pals into the game uh, with an island six times that big. I'm guessing we're going to see much, much more. But hey, I cannot wait to learn more about it. Now, about two days back now, they did also tweet this out. 2024 isn't finished yet for Power World and we have some exciting news about the next update coming very, very soon. Which is obviously what we covered here. Uh, but I just want to say also, guys, that there's going to be a crossover happening in 2025 which is next year obviously this will come after the update we get in december and it shows guys the image and official image they released of power world crossing over with terraria which sounds quite interesting for sure now if you don't know what this game is it's a 2011 action adventure sandbox game and it's developed by re logic further details on it Terraria is a land of adventure, a land of mystery, a land that's yours to shape, defend and enjoy. The game is a 2D sandbox game with gameplay that revolves around exploration, building, crafting, combat, survival and mining. Playable in both single player and multiplayer modes. The game has a 2D sprite tile based graphical style uh, reminiscent of the 16 bit sprites found on the Super Nintendo. Further details on it, Terraria is a land of adventure, a land of mystery, a land that's yours to shape, defend and enjoy. Your options in Terraria are limitless. Are you an action gamer with an itchy trigger finger, a master builder, a collector, an explorer? Well, they say there's something for everyone. Start by building basic shelter and dig for ore and other resources. Discover and craft over 500 weapons as well as armor and use them to battle hundreds of different enemies i mean it sounds a bit like power world i mean it's not a game i can self played myself i do know slightly of it but considering it's going to do a crossover with power world now we don't know whether it's going to be on power world's behalf uh, terraria's behalf or both but it sounds very very interesting for sure and like i said if any more details drop on this and the new update, the big new update coming to Power World in December. I will have you covered right here on my channel. But yes, guys, this should be great. The future of Power World actually looking quite good now, where a lot of people like myself, after the Nintendo lawsuit come out and made headlines, we didn't know where Pocket Pair stood. We didn't know what was going to happen to Power World. But seemingly now that's took a crazy U-turn. And the actual outcome to it seems minor for sure. But we will see. We will see. But big things are coming to Power World. And I cannot wait. Guys, if you've enjoyed the video, leave a like. It really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.